say, sit here, and then the woman comes over and sits next to you. How do you set Tom to change chairs? It's, it's easy. <laughs> Just say, you know what? It'll be a lot easier if you'll move over here. It's really easy. In fact, will you do me a favor? Can you sit up here for just a second? I want to demonstrate something. This on camera now? Mm -hmm. Good. <laughs> okay, now wait a minute. The demonstration's over. See how easy that was to ask her to move? <laughs> See? She's a nice gal, and so are all of your clients. They're nice people. And if you just ask them to do something, they'll do it. If you say, gosh, maybe you ought to clean the garage. Get that junker out of there. You know, they'll do it. You know, talking about perseverance is, um, I read the notices of bankruptcy and stuff just to check make sure my name's not in there. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, what my wife do? You know, you know all know Amerispec, right? Everyone knows who Amerispec yeah. is or Rick was. Reese, yeah. Well, they are in bankruptcy, right? Here's a guy, Rick Reese, that did that business. Everybody used him, the nice big brochure, everything's great. And I read in the paper, he's in bankruptcy. Now I'm just sitting here looking at this pad, which they just bought in today. Rick Reese, he's still in home inspections, QPI. Right. but QPI, you know, so his company went out in a tough time, but yet he's still persevering, he didn't change, unless he now, unless he does like, uh, rips off people by saying, well, I'll give you a, do this, I'll say this in the report and do this on the yeah. side, but, you know, he's persevering, and here he is back again, and that's, a, that's, fits so well into what you were talking about. Didn't change his You don't read the obituaries, do you? He died too? <laughs> <laughs> don't <laughs> Guy who's going to foreclose on the office. I read everything. Well, I know so a lot you about said you. You read the bankruptcies to make sure you weren't in there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the bitch you were, he's not that Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next one then is on um, which one? Personalities. Oh, yeah. Personalities and concentration. <clears throat> That's going to be a good one. Remember, uh, please don't come to class with any preconceived ideas about this personality class because each one's different. I've taken. 20 or 30 different personality tests to just because different books I've read or, or different organizations I've been associated with. And I've taken them open-mindedly and, and I've only found one other that I like at all. The rest of them are like, oh gosh. I took one uh, a company years ago wanted me to take a personality class or a test to decide whether I should work for them or not. And it took about two hours to take this test. And then the, the guy administering the test couldn't uh, understand it. He had to send it to somebody else to be deciphered and, and on and on. This one is very simple, the one we're going to talk about next week. It's going to be so easy that in a matter of a couple of minutes, you can size somebody up, look at the car they drive, the things they do. Well, that's really and, an indication this year, what we are driving. <laughs> <laughs> that's not all. That's not all. It's a fuzzy time. steering wheel. Uh, uh, what that will do is, that's going to tell you what category to put them in. You'll know immediately what kind of house to put them in. And uh, in a minute, or just a couple of minutes. It's easier if you're bonding with somebody. Like their car? <laughs> oh, okay. Uh, I have an apology. I didn't align anything up with the title company for food, so. Next week I will. Ron, Ron went on vacation. I forgot we were doing this until yesterday. Someone called That's me, so I called a lot of you last night. So I appreciate you coming. There's no after meals, after a seminar snack. But so you're taking us out to eat? Well, yeah. I have to yeah. That's I have right. to There's <laughs> pick and say, leave the card. Okay, let me ask you one last question. Did, did, Vince, do you know everybody that was here? So yes, I've written it down. Okay. <laughs> right, because we're going to build it up. Right? Okay, credit card. Yes. If uh, you go to a, a appointment and the guy's real negative, he doesn't want to list or something against your company, how do you... You try to mirror that, or? Well, that, that's a whole different thing. Now, maybe he's heard something about your company. Is that what you're saying? Or, or he doesn't want to. Or he doesn't like people that have mustaches, or, yeah, or something like that. Yeah. Or something. The matching and mirroring can overcome some things, but some things it just cannot. Just, okay. uh, you know, some things have to be talked out. In fact, I call that uh, uh, pre-framing. Do you know what pre-framing is? What I do is, when I sit down with somebody, or when I talk to them on the phone, I tell them, look, I'm very good, or I'm the best, you might say. Uh, but there are some things that you may not like about me, the way I do things, but I am the best. And if you want to do business with the best, do business with me. If you want to really succeed, if you want your house sold, okay, I pre-frame them. I let them know that, that there may be something about me that they don't like. But then I say, and if there is, I'll try to overcome that. You just have to let me know what it is. 
And if I know what it is, I'll do my best to overcome the problem. That's a preframe. And then when you get there, they, they're not looking for it, because then they say, oh, yeah, well, he's, a, he's pretty easy to go in there. Okay. That's the way I approach it. All right? Thank you very much. We'll see you all next week. Thank you. Let's leave before we have to move the table. <laughs> <laughs> Now I want you guys to bond this week with somebody. Everybody. I'll bond with my wife. Okay, the bar. Sandy. Private therapy? Sure. Where? Wherever, because I work out of my home. So I meet people in their homes or in their office or whatever. It's, it's really... I find it very interesting. I was kind of first skeptic, like everybody else. But, um... I'd really like to overcome some um, negatives and uh, possibly for me and Is she seeing a doctor now, a psychologist or a psychologist? She's told to see. She went through a program, but she needs to see something. I'm not going to do Okay, thanks. Okay. So I'll see you next week. Let's talk before, okay? Before next week? Before, yeah, so that at least we're all on the same. I forgot all about you. Okay. I need your help. He needs a lot of help. Do you want me to call you like Tuesday or like Monday next week? I do need a lot of help. Yeah, just call me and just remind me okay. and so that I can get a title company to come out and do lunch or something. Okay, all right. Thanks, man. No, but uh, do you have a card or something sure. that we can get in the I want to finish that conversation. I sold the one I wanted to the one for Thank you. I like that one about TV. That kind of fits me. But you, you know, there are a lot of stories. Yeah. Like that. That's Which one? Tina Turner. Oh, Tina Turner. Yeah. Yeah. But, you know, the one I you tell sometimes, we're running out of time, was the one about. Uh, uh, What's his name? Uh, Colonel Sanders. Oh. Former Colonel Sanders. Do you know his story? Oh, yeah. I've heard some. But then you don't know if you, they're Stan all true. Phyllis Diller. He was 65 when he started the company, right? Trying. And uh, when he Diller tried. was 40 when she got, when she started. When she started her comedy. Yeah. Well, look at Tina Turner. It's, and she was in her 50s already. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, yeah. Yeah, you can still sing. Oh, hey, I, I'll get up there on stage and sing. I could care less. I can't sing, but I can't I can't sing either. <laughs> but I'll get up there. Uh, in fact, my wife will tell, tell anybody I can't sing. Please don't sing. You can well, sing. Well, I, like, I like that she did. Did you watch, uh, what was that, uh, oh, what was it where Diane Sawyer's, uh, is, no, Diane Sawyer's, not 2020. She's, um. 60 Minutes? No, she's. Well, which one is on Thursday nights at 10? Mm -hmm. Anyway, so you, you said you thought about my name? Yeah, this Why? is it. Uh, Why? What came to you then? There was a, a, a program where they had, well, I watched it mainly because of kids, the way kids are today. Mm -hmm. I have grandchildren, and uh, I wanted to see what was happening, and they're talking about what happens in the school. You know, when I went to school, if I, you know, smarted off to an adult, I'd get my mouth slapped. And I've talked to a number of people out of the country, like Europe or New Zealand or wherever. You know, if a kid mouths off to, you know, they have to have respect and all. So this is mainly why I was watching this program. What's happening to our country where, you know, you, you go in and, and the teacher, they're going to laugh in the teacher's face. I mean, I would have lost my teeth, my children, you know. Yeah. You know, thank God I didn't have to do that because they were the dentist bill. But then they had a program on how to live to be 100, and they interviewed hundreds, I'm talking literally as many, what is there, there's 5% uh, or 4.5%, uh, I guess, of the uh, nation is over here. And they interviewed, gosh, I, so many of them that were in their right mind, you know, some of them. And they interviewed and they thought, well, cigarettes, uh, you know, uh, fat, alcohol, and, and they're, well, you know, alcohol wasn't an issue because 
and uh, that they learned that part of, you know, that you can drink alcohol, and uh, as long as you're not an alcohol, you know, constantly drinking or something yeah. like that, but you could have some alcohol and still live. You could probably have some cigarettes and still live as long as you're not in a habit, you know, it's not a habit for me. But they, they, they were really surprised, and this surprised me, is there were four things that every single one of the people that lived over to a hundred, and I'm talking these people were sharp. They weren't like, I mean, I was older than them. I was really older than all of these people that I saw. And there were four things, and so I don't know how to remember things too well, you know, I'm getting over it. And so what I do is I put a, uh, I try to make a name out of it or something that will make me remember. And I came up with her name, Olga. Well, and, share with me. Yeah, well, this is what I have to write it down. But you, all of them were optimistic about something. They, and that's what I think a lot of our realtors are losing. People that I've always been optimistic no matter what. Always. And I'm not saying I was optimistic. I mean, there's a death. I'm also very serious. But I always persevere. Like, you know, you have to do it. But um, I haven't been. I am in front of people. But, you know, and I see a lot of, I talk to a lot of people. I forget a group and I was with. I mean, I see things that when people were on top, I'm not talking only money-wise, but on top so far as, as life and the Attitude about life. Yeah, I mean, they are really, really down. Do you know what, what really hurt me in the early 80s was reading the newspaper and watching the news? Yes. I got to a point where in 1982, I had to read the whole newspaper, I had to read the whole thing, and I had to watch the news every day. I, don't, I never read the newspaper anymore. I never read it, and I never watch the news on TV. You know that Marty, uh, and you know what Marty I find out what's going on? The one, uh, what's her name? Marty Rodriguez. Yeah, Marty Rodriguez, the woman that uh, uh, is the top lister in the United, top agent in the United in the uh, United States in Century Twenty One system. Isn't it the same? Marty Rodriguez. And she's the one that she's looks over at. Uh, she's Alaska. at Alaska now. Yeah. Anyway, I talked to her and I said, "What's the one thing?" that you can do so far as, as uh, 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 not getting depressed about the economy. You know, not, you, know you read this and people are, are throwing this at you. And she says, don't read the paper. Suppose that. Don't read the paper. You know. And uh, she has uh, an owl. And me, I'm like that. I, if I see something on the news, if I see I mean, if a dog gets running over by a car. I mean, I carry dog from my car to give to a poor dog. That's, I do. Because I feel sorry for them. You know, I, I just can't. When I see something, it, it stays with me for years. But anyway, usually, but I'm optimistic, you know, if you can believe. But I haven't been. Um, adapt to loss. That's tough. You, you, what if you have a kid that dies? That's the worst thing in the world. When you're, you know, your parents die or something like that, or your husband dies. You know, uh, your husband leaves you. Uh, you know, your kids walk out and go. That's my story. Well, see, that's it. Hey, I can have few of those. Don't worry about it. <laughs> But you have to adapt. And, and I'm That's what they said. Like, you know, you're going to be, what, 54. And... Oh, you're kidding. I didn't even know. I thought, gee, she's so No, nice. and then I say, it seems like I'm just beating. Yeah. You know? And all this stuff that has happened, like, this year was my worst year of most I mean, I didn't do hardly anything. Maybe two things. But I, I don't want to quit. I keep thinking yeah. it has to be safe. That's That's the person. Well, you know, the one, thing, you, the one thing you have to remember about real estate is it's cyclical. It, it, it won't be bad forever. It, it won't be good forever once it's good. They again. say it's not going to be like it was either. Well, yeah. no, that's, oh, that, was a, that was a fluke. You know what? I talked to somebody in real estate in Salt Lake last week, and five years ago, I wouldn't have given you five cents for a for most realtors in Salt Lake because they don't make any money. And you know what this guy said? He said, I had my house on the market for three hours. Yeah. Hey, five years ago, I mean, five years on the market, you know what it's called for. Anyway, he says that, uh, that you have to have a goal or an interest. Yep. You know. Just basically what you brought up. Yeah. And that the next thing is you have to stay active. You can't just sit around and watch the couch potato. You got to get up. Even if it's just going to the garden and back. And sometimes. So you wrote. And so I figured out Olga. <laughs> so now Olga's going to help me. She's going to be. be a she's going to help you. She's going to. Well, between that and hypnotize. Do you know I've been hypnotized a number of times? No, I mean. Try to. And I would. Uh, for smoking. I'm, I'm a. I have no other real vices. Except oh, I can take care of that one. That one's, you know, that one's one of the most I misunderstood. Walked, I walked out and lit up a cigarette. I 
I will walk out of this class and walk out. <laughs> the lady, she goes, you're from California? And I go, yeah, my parents always come up, up here and get these candies. So I had to come over and get some candies for her because we're right down there. She said, oh, I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs>
<laughs> is, are there any fast food places up there? Does anybody know of any fast food places? You can get a hot dog at 7 Eleven. No. no. So, so, so. <laughs> you, that you went to Carl's Jr. or something like that? Jamie, I think you can just S O L. Sort of out of line. Then I'll tell you that you want to. Well, let's go to Indiana and Where's Jordan's present from us? Oh, you want a color? It's <laughs> not that. Throw the blue one over. Right <laughs> there. That be like blue. I got blue. She always gives me blue. I have a blue blanket out in the car from her. By the way, I use that all the time. You so do I. Those little blankets she made us. They're warm. I use that blanket more than I use any other blanket. Yeah, one thing. Oh, you have had them for years, too. Jeremy got blue. They're, 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 they're warm, aren't they? Isn't that the warmest blanket you have? Yeah. Yeah, it is. Hey, we got the same ones to match our blankets. Yep. Jesus. No, I wonder if they write on them. Yeah, they do. 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 Yeah, they do.